and welcome to Gothic Reviews. Today we are doing a What's in My Coffin Purse 666 Creepsville review. Um, the reason I'm doing a combo is because it shows how much the purse will carry for those who are curious. When I got it, I didn't think it was as big as it was. Um, it's a really nice purse. It's a solid material. It's hard shell, which I like. And there's so many different ways you can do the strap, which I want to show before I go into the internal. Um, I think I paid either 39 or 40 for this purse. It goes up and down online and it depends on where you get it. So I would just eBay and Google and check on the 666 Creepsville site. There's um, also a dead girl coffin purse, but um, I did not get that one. I got this one. And so you can go with taking the chain handle off and just carry it as like a handbag like this. And it's nice and it has a it's a faux bone handle they call it online and it's really neat it's I guess plastic or something but it's very textured and it really feels like a real bone that's awesome it um, has the rough edges here and then the middle feels kind of smooth like I have a bunch of bone jewelry and just general kind of taxidermy pieces and I know what bone feels like so um, yeah it feels actually real and then I kind of decorated it on these little side handles where the straps go, or where the clips go for the um, purse strap, I put these little, the Kickerland bat and black cat keychains LED that we already reviewed a while back. Um, this is kind of another way to decorate with them, so I did that and kind of decorated the bag. And I like the handle. It's also got these neat little pyramid shaped studs that are all over the coffin itself. Um, don't really usually care about studs, but they're pyramids and they're cool. Um, but I like that. It's got this here that's leather where it's comfortable to rest on your shoulder and the rest is chain, which I think kind of adds a classy elegance. And you can clip them. They're like a giant kind of lobster claw, so they're really easy to work and you can clip it to either end like this, where when you wear it, it hangs just across like that. Or if you would like it to hang where it goes kind of the way a coffin goes up and down instead of across, it would go like this and you just merely clip it this side. Is that a good angle, Gomez? Yes. Good, because I can't see what I'm doing. I'm trusting you to see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're using the wide angle again today. Uh -huh. I hope this works for you guys. Um, so anyway, that's how it looks when it hangs that way and I just kind of move it around depending on my mood. But I really love the way they made such an adjustable strap where you can make it go different ways or not use it at all, which is really neat how you can use it several ways. And it has two zippers. And what's cute is the little leather zipper pulls are also shaped like coffins. Does that show up? Yes. So that's really charming. And it's like I said, sturdy and durable. I have some paperwork in here. This is the what's in my coffin. I carry more like Eh, where do I want to put this? Here. I carry more unique things than most people because I don't carry the standard stuff. I don't carry makeup. I don't carry a comb. I fix myself before I leave and what's done is done. <laughs> 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 um, I love my clothes and I love my um, hair and whatnot, but I'm not a primper. Once I do it, I'm done for the day. That's it. So I don't carry stuff um, to do. But anyway, um, this is my only complaint. It's a, it's a neat little um, right here on the purse. It's like where you could put, let's say, an ID because it's see-through here, or you could put cards, or you could put cash. And I had it on vacation, and I was putting different little cards and passes and whatnot in here, and it's just really hard to get stuff in and out, and it doesn't really, like, it's either going to come out or it's going to be, like, hard to get out. So I don't love this little pouch because it's just not the best workable size. But, I mean, that's the only thing I can say about the purse that's not a total rave, and it's not a big deal. So, um... That's that. So I brought Jack Skellington to toy with while I was waiting for an appointment because I like Jack Skellington and he keeps me from like just being bored. So we, hi Jack Skellington. And then we have our little Pacamac raincoats because we never know when it's gonna pour in Oregon or not and we don't like lugging big heavy raincoats out if it doesn't rain and you know, being stuck with them. And then I have my new little obsidian black orb that I got recently at a metaphysical shop, the only metaphysical shop in our area. 
And then hand sanitizer, just because you don't want to get the flu. And I'm not sure why this is in here. It's my frog brooch from our vacation, the Wizarding World. I think I was still fiddling with it. I don't know, but it's in here. And we have my little coffin that's um, like an 80s thing that kids would get candy in. And it has like vitamins and aspirin and like whatever we tend to want while we're out to take with food or whatever. Um, so it's a cute little container. Got it off eBay. And it's more fun than taking like several different vitamin or aspirin or whatever bottles. Just throw it all in there. These are a couple packets of emergency that we use like when we're at the Y and we're drinking water. We'll dump it in our bottles. Because it gives you good flavor and energy and helps you from not getting the flu. So... And then this big velvet bag, I wanted a black one, and it's not black, and it has like a cherub on it or whatever. I don't really love the, the light blue and the cherub, but I wanted this thick padded velvet bag with a satin inside to keep this skull that I also reviewed from my vacation. And along with him in the same bag is a crystal that I got at the same metaphysical hall recently where I got the obsidian ball. It's called a golden Lemurian, is that right? Lemurian. Lemurian. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I like the fact that it's got smooth and rough spots on it, <laughs> and it just feels really nice, and um, I have to have short nails because of the work I do with medical massage and making jewelry, but I like to get them cut and filed and not bite them, so I carry stuff in my hand so I don't get bored and bite my nails. If I see a little tiny imperfection and I don't have a clipper, I'll just try to fix it myself and that's not attractive or healthy or just a good habit to have so I have different various things to fiddle with and I got Gomez into the habit even though he doesn't have a biting nail issue um, but that helped me break the habit it's just always having something to fiddle with so that's kind of a neat thing um, but anyway just kind of like an idea of how much the purse holds and the fact that I am unique and unusual and I don't carry the same typical things in my bag so I thought it might be fun to show just because of that um, most people carry more mundane items um, the last thing to show you about the purse you can see obviously the interior now that I have emptied it for you and this is another little zippy pocket on the side that is very small as well but it zips um, it's tight and narrow just like this one but um, again it zips so it depends on what you're putting in it but there's a couple little pockets is the point and then the big major compartment so that is the coffin purse and again I like the hard shell I get a lot of compliments on it I like the chain because I think it gives it a little of more of an um, extra dressy elegant look so you know it's nice and it's a compliment to the store that it was bigger than what I expected I thought it was gonna be like half the size and I got it and wow I wasn't expecting it to be that big but okay now I can carry more stuff that I don't really need um, but I don't take my purse out every time I go out so it doesn't really matter but anyway um, Thank you for watching this review of the 666 Creepsville What's in My Coffin Bag. Um, and definitely, if you would like it, it's been durable. I take it a lot. I take it on vacation. I carry stuff in it. It's a durable, good purse. Um, I don't advise cramming more in it than belongs in it, but that would be for any bag, and that's going to kill any bag. But it's very sturdily made, very nicely done, and um, great product. So... Um, I definitely endorse that product and I haven't gotten anything else from them But this is just a really nice purse and like I said more than I expected when I got it. So um, If you're interested, I definitely recommend it and if you enjoyed this review and you are not a subscriber, please um, Subscribe and check out our other videos because they're all Creepy, uh, <laughs> spooky and creepy. I'm learning from Gomez unintentionally and combining words He's done bathic reviews for bat web reviews. Hey, that's a good habit. <laughs> right? So, um, not creepy. I guess you can be creepy if you want to, but have a spooky, creepy day. Please join, like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.